Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is my welcome back to the Philippines video. I'm really sorry I wasn't able to post. I was really busy in the US. Plus, I tried to film a video twice, but the lighting was so off and it just bothered me. So I didn't want to upload a subpar quality video. So here you go. I'm filming a new one. So today I'm gonna do a uh, get ready with me. If you don't know what that is, that just means that I'm gonna do my makeup and talk about random things while I film it. This is for anyone who wants to see how I put on my makeup. That's what my camera makes it all the way, so. My face is moisturized, uh, I put my sunscreen on and it's primed already, so I'm gonna go in with my foundation now. So during the trip I went to Sephora several times because I couldn't buy a few things on the first time just because I really needed to think about it. This is one of the things that I couldn't buy. At Sephora, if you ask for samples, they will do their best to give it to you, especially if it's a liquid foundation. They'll put it in these small jars for you. So this one is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a separate review on this because it's not available in the Philippines, but I can do one if you guys like. I love how full the, found the coverage is. So I have a pimple right here, I'm sure you've seen it already, and this foundation just covers it up completely. My issue with this foundation is the same as what I have with the Estee Lauder Double Wear. Um, it still kind of transfers off and I'm suspecting I might, it might be because I'm using the wrong kind of primer. Um, Maybe for the Estee Lauder as well, I might need to try it with a different kind of primer. They might not match. Something like that. Like, if you use a silicone-based primer, you have to use a silicone-based foundation. So, I'm not sure. I'm not an expert. <laughs> I need to reiterate, I am not an expert on makeup or skincare or beauty in general. This is basically all of my opinion, just my opinions on things and how I use things. I could be wrong. You guys can correct me at any time and I don't mind. What I do mind is people who are like, you're wrong. And then they just don't like say why I'm wrong. They're just like, you're wrong, I'm sorry. So now I'm just putting a little bit of extra foundation on the pimples just so they're covered up an extra bit. Um, it's Sunday and I was thinking about going lighter, but like having a lighter look, but I'm just too conscious about my pimples and I know that's not a good reason to go full coverage but why not I have to finish this up anyway okay so that's done I think it looks pretty good yeah oh I forgot my neck the color seems a bit orange and it does oxidize so that is an issue for a lot of people, it's something that you have to think about when you're buying the shade. I got help from someone at Sephora. I don't know what you call them. Like at the Apple at the Apple store, they're called geniuses. Is there a name for Sephora people? Like beauty gurus or something? I don't know. I got matched for this and it does look okay on me, but I find that it's a little bit dark. So I was looking at the shade range for this, and I usually go for something that's closer to 3.5. She gave me 5, <laughs> which I'm not used to, but I'll, I'll go with it. I mean, they know more than I do. So then. That's an important step. Don't forget to blend your foundation down to your neck and to your décolletage. Okay, after this, um, I'm gonna put a bit of concealer under my eyes. Just a bit, because this is very full coverage already. So this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD found, uh, well, Ultra HD Concealer. Um, I do like this for my under eye area. It does cover it up and brighten the area a bit. But for spot correcting, I'm not a fan. I was finally able to order the what do you call this Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, 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 but it didn't arrive by the time I left, so my aunt is gonna send it to me. Hi, auntie. I'm just gonna not exactly bake this, but set it with a bit more setting powder before the rest of my face. I understand baking, but I don't necessarily do it every day. 
Okay, next. I'm gonna go and do my brows with the Holika Holika Wonder Drawing Bow. Bow. Brow. By the way, I've been using this Real Technique sponge. I finally got it. Um, I was an avid user of the Beauty Blender for so long. And I decided I might as well try the Real Technique because it's supposed to be a really good dupe for it. Like I said in my haul video. And yeah, I don't know why I'm repeating it if I already said it in a video. But anyway. I do like it so far. It does match up to the Beauty Blender in my opinion. But I need to get another Beauty Blender to do a side-by-side -side to see how well they perform. Uh, to see how well it performs next to the Beauty Blender. But so far, it does my foundation really well and really quick. Like you just saw, it took me less than two minutes to do my foundation. Especially when I need like a natural looking filler coverage. I don't know if that makes sense. I am going to highlight conceal them a little bit. Um, so I'm using this small brush with my NYX concealer jar pot. I forgot what you call this. And I'm just gonna kind of outline my eyebrows. So it's basically highlighting but you're using a concealer so that it shapes your brows a bit better. So I don't like this concealer per se. I like it for my eyebrows, but not for anything else. <laughs> okay, so moving down from my eyebrows. I'm not gonna do an eyeshadow look today. But gosh. <laughs> I'm going to use these ColourPop eyeshad uh, eyeshadows. These ColourPop eyeliner. They're the cream gel pencils. This one is in no shame. I'm still kind of testing these out to see how well I like them. Um, so far I like that they're thin, but I don't like that it still comes off after a while. Not on the lid itself, but like this little wing that I'm making, that will come off at the end of the night. This is probably good for every day. Um, I think it was like 5 or 6 dollars. I know a lot of these are locally available, and you can get ColourPop to ship here, so I will make a video on these. I like the color of this one because it's like a black violet. I think that just makes a great color for every day. Something that's not black. Too black so it's so intense but it still gives you that nice depth and it, it's like an added flavor that it's purple. Does that make sense? So yes, my wings are uneven. They are always uneven. I'm using Mr. Bing. So this is a collab... A collab this is a collaboration with Kathleen Lights. I mostly bought this for the name. I really like Friends. I rewatch it when I have nothing else to watch. And I don't like using these kinds of browns on my lids. They kind of look weird. Like, I don't know. It looks like it's... I can't explain it. It just looks really strange. So I like using it on my waterline instead. So now let's do my mascara. I also got this, yeah, I mentioned it in the other video, but I got this Shiseido eyelash curler because a lot of people recommend it over the Shu Amura one. I like it okay. I mean, it curls my lashes enough. And it's not that painful, but the shape isn't exact to my eye. I'm using roller lash again. So I mentioned earlier that I was worried about my camera dying or overheating and that is because my camera is not exactly a, a camera that is supposed to be good for video. I just found it in my house and I, I'm not sure, I didn't want to invest in a new camera so that's why that's what I'm using. It's really not for vlogging at all, there's no light indicator if it's still filming, there's no screen for me to look at, I mean... It doesn't even like add any effects or anything. It's really just a basic camera. It's a Nikon J1, by the way. It's really old. I think they're selling it on Lazada for 5,000 pesos now. So it's not the best. But I, like I said, I'm not, I wasn't sure if I wanted to invest in a new camera. And 
I didn't exactly want to use my D90 for filming because that is just a really heavy camera and I don't have a tripod anymore. Oh no, I have a tripod but I don't have the thing that connects to the camera anymore. I don't know where it went. Okay, so mascara done. I'm going to move on to contouring, uh, bronzing, contouring, and highlighting. Yes, a full look for Sunday, why not? I already went in with the full foundation. So I, a lot of people were recommending that I get this butter bronzer because it's supposed to be a really good bronzer. And I agree, it's a good bronzer. I don't agree with it really good. Well, for me, because I like a darker bronzer. Um, I don't know if I've ever mentioned this, but Hoola is my holy grail bronzer. I thought that this might be like a... A dupe for that but it's just so light and it's really just for warming up your face so I just use this now for um, contouring these parts just so that my face doesn't look too pale and then I still go over it with hula on my cheeks just so I get that depth because I do have chubby cheeks so I like to contour it down a bit just to give more depth to my face and so I look thinner, of course. This one, by the way, is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12-Hour Blush in Captivating. It's one of my favorites. I do like to go overboard with it a bit. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna cover it, most of it up with this highlighter anyway. So, guys, please tell me if I'm using the highlighter wrong because after like two hours, I can't see it anymore. No matter how much I pack it on, I just cannot see it. Uh, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong, guys. So initially you'll see it, yes. There's a lot. You can see how much highlighter I have on. You can say, yes, you have a highlighter on, ma'am. But after two hours, it's just like, where'd it go? That's why I can't invest in highlighters, because I just don't see it. Even right now, it's kind of lame. I don't know. And this is supposed to be one of the best ones, and it still looks really non-existent on me. Maybe I'm doing it wrong? Just let me know, guys. Okay. So before I put on my lipstick, I like to go over my face with a translucent powder. I'm not baking it per se, but I am using a sponge to apply it. Just so it really gets in, it, uh, the liquid foundation really absorbs it. And I like to do this to on top of the blush and the contour so that it tones it down a bit if I overdid it like I did today. I've noticed a lot of people lately have been baking their whole faces and you know, good for you, but I don't have that kind of time. So I'm going to go in with Kat Von D Santa Sangre. By the way, if you guys want, I can make a video on all of my liquid lipsticks. So the reason I like this color so much is because it's a warm orange. I don't a uh, warm orange, warm red, like an orange red and um, I don't see a lot of those. Uh, I'm sure there are lots of dupes for this. Um, I just have to check Tempalia. Great website, by the way, if you're looking for dupes. But yeah, this color is just so pretty. And it, the orange just gives it that extra dimension. I like how warm it looks. Maybe it's because I have um, more warm undertones and cool undertones, that's why. So this is it. This is my look for today. Thanks for watching. It's a little thick. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned something. I didn't really teach anything today. <laughs> so if you did like it or you did find it helpful, please leave a like. And if you like these kinds of videos or you want different kinds of videos, please leave a comment below. And if you want more content like this, please subscribe to this channel. By the way, I'm going to try to upload more videos this week to make up for the weeks that I didn't upload anything. Uh, let's see. <laughs> let's see if my camera can do it. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!